to. I don't know where I put my phone. Where did I put the phone? I think I put it in my bag. Anyway, just one second. Shantae Brown should have talked and the Brown should have talked. Yeah, it's in here. Okay, yeah. Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk, Underground, Sugar Talk. And now I'm about to get my Instagram started. So Instagram will be the shortest show. If I get it started, y'all. Because y'all know sometimes I be on one and, and forget to hit the button. I be talking the whole time, y'all. Conversation be good. You hear me? And forget to hit the button. Um... Cardinals are playing today, so McDonald's had something like a dollar Coke or something like that. Which they always have soda for a dollar, but still. It just told me something from McDonald's. I don't know. My phone is giving me notifications. Okay, I'm hitting the button. So hopefully it's going live. Alright, so it's Shantae, Shantae Shula, Brown Sugar Talk under Brown Sugar Talk. Today is about conscious relationship uh, dating, and I'm also doing uh, what's in my bag, too. So, the first thing is, is, like, let's talk about what happens, what happens. So, this morning, I'm going to go through my bag as I do this, too. So, this morning, everything that happened is just what happened in me and Marcus's relationship. So, again, I'm in the bed, and I was like, did you drink one of my Slim Fast shakes? Because I seen that they were coming up missing. And he just, like, wakes up and grabs my hair and pulls it out of my head and starts beating me and all this different stuff. And it was because he was sleeping with the girl at the office. But he also likes trans women. So that's what the other people were telling me. I wasn't tripping off him because, like I said, I had a gay boyfriend. So if he would have talked to me about it, it would have been fine. But he had to, like, go ham. You see what I'm saying? And he had, like, a lot of problems. So it will be, like, some days he'll be, like, really emotional and sensitive. So it will be just, like, he know he did something wrong. So he'll come home and be like, oh, my God, my life is over. And he'll just, like, we'll spend so many hours talking about how people abused him. But such as the Sigmas fucking him and uh, one of his big mentors sleeping with him and all this different stuff. So, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, y'all keep doing the same stuff and it's the Alphas, the Sigmas, and the Kappas. Like, it's not. And it's one cute dog, Mr. Seamster, because he didn't know what he was doing either. So, it's like, y'all really need to, like, really chill. Like, I'm not joking. I will go after your ass. I don't give a fuck about you. Like, I'm not joking. So that, that's what I be like, let's talk about some conscious relationships that we going to build. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't have a problem with none of this stuff. That be really y'all. And y'all really need to talk to y'all mama. This ain't nothing a woman has to deal with. Like, it's like, why do you think that women have to deal with your issues? You see what I'm saying? Like, if you got sexuality issues, baby, go out and be what you going to be. And nobody told you that as a man, you just have to be with a woman. You could be with a trans woman. You could be with a woman. You could be with a man. That's all that is. It ain't none of that changing you. Ain't nothing gonna make you a man if you're not helping yourself help yourself. That's the other thing. People been coming there, leaving their stuff on our table because we women at the table, thinking that we want to pick up after you. That's not making you a man. And that's not the relationship I'm talking about. Like, if you can't respect yourself enough to pick up your trash, how can I respect you enough to pick up your trash? You see what I'm saying? Because we really are at a shelter. So they'll actually come to the table and flirt with one, either me or Rena or just want to sit there and just not say nothing and then leave a trash or something nasty on the table. We are not nasty and ain't no one woman looking for no nasty man. Like, it's like, that does not make you a man. That, what makes you a man is to be yourself and to be yourself in kindness and compassion nobody wants a man that's just like we gotta pick up after you every day you waking up you fussing and fighting and all that different stuff somebody gonna kill you because the older that this world gets they know that you are a useless person there is no good that you can bring to the world if you still hear sitting down talking about, well, I, yeah, I hit her because uh, she came up in her and us. Don't nobody want to hear the excuses of why you used your strength against somebody that can't even do anything to you. I'm talking about this man every day starts a fight with either a woman or a disabled person. And today the person that he started to fight with and actually fought her was actually a woman and she is disabled. 
Everybody know not to start no argument with this girl. She is sweet as pie, but she has a mental disability where she shouts out stories of going on in her head, all this different stuff. There's no reason for you to shout back at her because she ain't really talking to nobody but whoever it is that's in her head talking to her. And so in that, in that situation, most men, they'll try to get out of pocket with it. You going to start a fight with a woman that's not even trying to start a fight with you. Most women wake up, and I was telling this man this too, we wake up and think about dick too. If you laying next to me and the dick is good, baby, I'm waking up thinking about fucking you. It ain't even got to be that I woke up. We wake up in a room full of men, and I'm talking about any flavor and taste that we want. And at any given time, any of them can be finer than a motherfucker. I'm not joking. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They all a good size. They all in good shape. They all got nice skin. We see them working all day. They pick up their trash. They take out the trash. They they eat. If they go get some water, they might hand us one every once in a while. You see what I'm saying? So if I'm waking up next to this, on my mind is the man. It's still sex. I'm still a human being. And it's a subconscious thing. It's not something that's always in the front of my mind, but it's there. The same thing I think with men. When they wake up, they dick is hard. Ain't they thinking about getting some pussy? So if you're thinking about getting some pussy and you wake up and it's a whole column of pussy over her, and I'm talking about we really all different flavors. Asian, white, black, Hispanic, Native American. I'm talking about we are flavored, honey. Little, skinny, thick, fine. I'm talking about we flavor for real. So why in the world would you, and she is actually, a this girl has a nice body, nice beagle. Why would you as a man actually wake up and want to argue with her? That is the situation. Argue and put your hands on her like to actually fight her. And he over there bragging about himself while everybody else in the room still calling him a pussy. You know why? Because that's what he wants. He wants that on the outside. He wants to. He wants to have a vagina. And I'm not playing. Like it's like I know it sounds crazy, right? It do. But no, I really do think that this man thinks that that's how he should have been a man. And that's not me and a man at all. Putting your hands on a woman, especially a disabled woman or a disabled person, that does not make you a fucking man. It makes you a. It makes you a weak monster. So that's why I'm talking about this today because it's like y'all really keep thinking that y'all gonna like people gonna let y'all live that long. That's how you get killed. Cause you know what they do is they wait till Chris leave and then they start trying to pick on me. But when Chris starts, can't nobody do nothing. They don't do nothing. They can't follow me. They don't see me. Do you see what I'm saying? But when Chris leaves, that's when they want to start clowning. I don't say nothing. When he come back, I tell him and that's it. You see what I'm talking about? But y'all never step to a man like that. And that's the part that I'm talking about. Because you really want him to fuck you. That's why women calm. You see, because women, that's what we do too. We calm down. A man come be like, right, baby. Girl, we, I'm talking about we all the way calm. You see, that's why, we, that's why people can actually be like, yeah, here, yeah, bitch. You see what I'm talking about? And I don't have no problem with nobody being gay. I don't have no problem with who you date or anything. The problem is the anger that you have towards the people that don't give a fuck about you. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to fuck this nigga. But you got a lot of anger towards me because of the color of my skin. Or because I'm a woman sitting here and I don't care nothing about him. All I need for him to do is get out of the facility because he does not need to be there. If you that abusive, you don't need to be in the facility. You need to find your own space because, see, you want to be king of a castle and you can't, and that's not your castle. Y'all, that's what I be trying. It's, it's like I really be trying to break it down to you. It sounds like it's crazy, but it's true. Your sexuality actually helps you make decisions. So, anyway, this is the first thing I bought. The. That's an evil watermelon hibiscus popcorn. That's a popcorn. I bought two because I'm not coming back over here for a couple of days. I bought two Danishes, one raspberry and one blueberry. Because today I was like, oh my god. Ras no, I bought a cheese Danish. Because I haven't had it. And a raspberry. Look at that. It looks so good. It looks so good. And I got two bags. So this is my first bag. I got strawberries, which I'm going to put sugar on later. 
Um, I got tamales. Today I got tamales. These are like my favorite, y'all. Like I love these things. And I got grapes. These are really sweet. And they got Kai Hill on sale right for two for two seventy. If you got a, a Amazon account, so you got two for two seventy right here. Okay. And you know her at a Whole Food Market, you can use your Amazon Prime account. And today I bought a lot of drinks because. I don't know. I've been getting sick and I drink a lot of fluids. So that's something people don't know about me. Like I love juice. Like I am a juice of holly. Juice, juice, juice. Juice, juice, juice. But I didn't buy juice here. I go to a fresh in time to get the juice because the juice is like some well, you can get the water for like two dollars and then you can get the juice for like three dollars. So let's go over the first part of this and then I'll go through the second bag. So, it's important to build a foundation. So, a partner is not your parent, cannot feel the wounding cause within childhood. And that's the truth. Like, you, like, y'all, some of y'all really, and some of those men over there, they do, they look for a mama. It's another guy. His name is uh, Chad. The one I told y'all was, like, trying to lead the sociopath group. Everything he do, he whine. So, yesterday I was trying to go to the bathroom, and he saw I was going, he just wanted me to talk to him, right? He just want me to say something to him. Y'all, I'm not y'all teacher. You see what I'm saying? I'm not your mom. I only got one child. That's Blake. And the rest of them, they don't even do that. My my students don't even do this. So, I'm going to the bathroom. So, he going to try to go to the bathroom the same time I'm going. He saw me get up running to the bathroom. I said, you going to the bathroom? He said, yeah. I said, you want me to let you go? He said, yeah. I said, no, you ain't going to do that. You a fucking man. You saw me getting up. I told him, no, nah, you ain't going to do it. I just asked him just to be, just to see what the fuck he going to say. So I said, okay, whoever get a tissue first, he ain't going to run because something wrong with his leg. So get gone somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody about to baby you. I'm not the hospital, bitch. I'm not your nurse. So I run to the door. I get the tissue. And I'm like, okay, I go to the bathroom. He going to say, you going to go? Yeah, I am. Because I'm not your fucking mama. You see? And he, let him tell you the story. I promise you, by the end of the story, you would think he murdered his mom. You see what I'm talking about? On top of that, he had a, he, he the one that had to give out drugs and have people passing out and shit. You got to call the hospital. You murdered your mama. Now, how the fuck you think I'm about to let you use the bathroom first? Let alone have a conversation with you. You have to be careful at this. I'm serious. I don't give a fuck about y'all. I don't give a fuck about snitching or nothing. That nigga gave them people drugs and had their ass passed out in the car. They had to call the hospital. And he called them to get them the drugs. Now you a fucking murderer and you still sitting up here thinking I'm finna let you use the bathroom. Nigga, think about the past and how it's gonna affect your future. I don't give a fuck. I tell him too. You killed your mama. What the fuck you think I'm talking about? This stuff ain't... I'm not joking. These people are fucking real. This nigga actually be thinking somebody gotta treat him like he a five-year-old fucking child. Because he'll stand there whining. He'll call your he'll call the people. Mm. That's how he sound, y'all, like a fucking whale. Mm. Calling people to come. Mm. Can you help me? Nigga, ain't you about 43 years old? Nigga, you don't know how to pick up shit. You don't know how to sit here and fucking wait. Nigga, you ain't retarded. If you know how to kill a motherfucker with drugs, then your retarded ass know how to sit there and fucking wait. You see what I'm saying? Next, the Conscious Relationship Foundations. You are not responsible for your partner's happiness, but can support them in creating and creating it. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you about this gay dude. You gay. This woman ain't doing nothing to you. She actually have a disability. It's something that you can work around. You get what I'm talking about? You got enough sense to get up and walk away. You got enough sense to know that she is not doing anything to you. So what we trying to do is, today I told him, just go get fucked. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to support him and having his way with his life. You get what I'm talking about? Like, I don't be playing. It's not a joke for me. It don't be a joke. I be straight up real. I really, I really be telling y'all when y'all need to go to jail, when you need to shut the fuck up, and when you just need to go out and get fucked. I, I, it's something I'm just not playing about. If you want me to do it scientifically, catch me on a good day. Relationship is a space for mutual evolution. 
and that's the situation. Any relationship is a space for me with your kids, with your pets, with your family, with your partners, everybody. That's exactly what it needs to be. Okay, relationship is interdependent. Mutual reliance plus support without losing sense of true self. Y'all, I'm sitting there, I say this when Chris, this when I knew Chris was acting like somebody else. He say, well, if you don't give me no attention and you don't get off the phone, then I ain't going to talk to you when you want to talk to me. Like, I'm supposed to get off the phone and start just talking to him. And me and him ain't been talking the whole time. So me and Chris ain't had no conversation the whole time. Like, we just sitting there for real. So I don't know where he going to say, well, I need you to get off the phone and talk to me. That's the stuff Marcus will do. What I'm going to stop my attention from what I'm doing for to help you. Because he don't want you to evolve. You see what I'm saying? So he'll try to set it up where he want to feel like you have to give him something so you can stop from being who you are. Then he'll take what you've been working on and then say, well, you can't be who you are because he got it now. Because he really wanted to be me. When he read that letter, that nigga really wanted to be me. And that's a problem. You get what I'm talking about? So it's like, it's not time. It, this relationship did not have space for a mutual evolution. A mutual evolution is when both of us can look at each other and grow. I'm not going to stop this man from doing or being who he is just because now I need some attention. You can't what I'm talking about. Especially you and I, my husband. I'm not your wife. You know what I'm saying? We barely girlfriend and boyfriend. Nigga, you don't even want to be here with me. You got other women. So it's like, what is it that is really going on? What part of I am my own person don't you understand? So you have to give people that space to evolve in their own way. Don't keep stepping on their toes and try to be in their life. Let's go through the second bag. So today I'm trying, I'm trying a lot of new stuff today. So this bag is really kind of like new stuff. So I'm trying this, this solely mango and guava um they some gummies um i spent a lot of money i spent 50 dollars today because i found out i had more food stamps they like my real balance came up when i went to the store yesterday so then i got red vines of course i'm trying all these this is a steve's green tea i got coffee for my this is for my um pastries i got enough coffee in my pastries so I got the cold brew, and it's my first time trying it in the can. I always get the bottle of cold brew. And then they had these on sale. It's a, a Yerba Mate. And it, I think you, they actually steam it or steep it, whatever. It, you know, the same way it's called. They brew it, it's called like they do coffee. So the Yerba Mate, I got the, I was thinking this is, this could be like a turmeric, but it is. It's like a Golden Mate, and I got Peach Please. I got this right here, which is this jerky. I'm gonna try this jerky first. I'm gonna try that jerky. It's like uh, it's like 3:15. It's actually like uh, crisp, like chicken crisp. I like my chicken crisp, so I thought I like it. And I probably can throw it in here in the ramen noodles. So I got ramen noodles today, and these are the Tom Yum Vice Veggies and Noodles with organic brown rice, y'all. So that's it. That's all the stuff in my belly. So y'all, yeah. So that's it. It's just um, I I don't know. I don't know how to tell y'all for real. So let's get going. Relationship is into is oh we did that communication. So communication allows both people to be seen plus heard to have their need. I mean, what is this? Um, communication allows pe both people to. To be seen, her to have their needs, her to have their needs me. I don't know what that means. Met. Maybe it's her to have their needs me. Communications allow. Communications allow. Communication allows both people to be seen, her to have their needs me. So it's it's pretty. So we got a guava gummies. I like gummies, y'all. I'm like a gummy fan, and um. 
So see, that's important too. It's like you gotta communicate. You gotta communicate. You can't just and then you know people now they stupid. So he over there instead of actually talking to it because some parts Monica be making sense. So it's like instead of him just listening, and if it didn't make sense, being quiet, he's still talking. He's still just screaming at her. You don't gotta do all that. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it at all. And here go to Chris. That's what it looks like. The plucker. But this is my noodles, so. Mmm. This is actually pretty good. Oh my god, it's so lanch. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Partner. Partners understand their ego. Um, plus triggers work to communicate. Um, let me see what that's saying. Okay, partners understand their ego. Triggers work to communicate them to uh, to communicate with each other. So anyway, yeah. When well, you understand who you are, that'll help you communicate better. And that's all I'm saying. If you know good day, sit down and have a talk. If you know you paying sexual, sit down and have a talk. Like stop doing that, man. We don't women don't want to be abused because of you. And other men don't want to be abused because of you either. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all do that stuff when y'all want to be with somebody else. Go be with somebody else. We don't want you either. You see, I ain't like Marcus eating my booty and all this stuff. I ain't like this stuff. So he got, I'm not the partner for him because he can't be fully satisfied with me. I already understood that. That's why I'm trying to get you out the fuck out of my house. So, anyway, mm, these are really natural. They taste like fermented fruit. They are not good. It tastes like, I won't like these. So, that's what they look like. Like little snacks. Like little treats. Anyway, it's Shantae. Brown sugar talk on the Brown sugar talk. I'm telling y'all, I love you, man. But for real, today's and this week's lesson is leave. Say goodbye. You see what I'm saying? Or just die. If you got to be there to start trouble, just kill your fucking self. Don't nobody want you in their life. I'm serious because y'all really think y'all need to live and you don't. Ain't nobody telling you to live. If you got issues with causing people problems for no fucking reason, you got to be abusive. You got a name call. I don't want to be evil. Nigga, kill yourself today. I'm not playing. Ain't nobody going to miss you. And I'm serious. They're going to give you a half ass funeral. They might even just cremate your ass. Don't know, ain't, they ain't putting your shit in no necklace. Put that shit in the trash. They ain't going to put your body in the fucking trash. I'm not fucking playing. Send your ass back to the fucking stars because that's all y'all made of. Y'all really think I'm joking. And I'm not. That's all y'all do is cause people problems. And I'm talking about Marcus D. Boy too. Kill your fucking self. Nigga, cry. Nigga, sit there and fucking cry. Fuck your fucking feelings. This bitch is away from you. And I'm not fucking playing. Do you know that was the happiest fucking day of my fucking life? I'm talking about I ate fucking shrimps and fucking crab legs, bitch. I'm not playing. This nigga, I lost all that weight after I lost that nigga. He thought I really wanted to be... Nigga, don't nobody want you and your abusive-ass friends. Get the fuck on. Y'all ain't got nothing to give but dick. And that half of that ain't good either. You see what I'm saying? Y'all y'all be leaving people with this yeast infections and bacteria vaginosis, nigga. Chlamydia and fucking... You see And some of y'all got AIDS. Get the fuck on. I'm just saying, kill yourself today. That's it. Brown sugar's hot.